I, I would like to make a comment, uh, if I may. Is mm -hmm. um, I, I think one of the the, the beauties of uh, of this uh, da uh, dashboard is the that is uh, exactly what the, the name says. It compares yourself with others, and. Um, as Cristobal and uh, Enrique and Alex said, it's, it's a life um, tool. It will go beyond the project and it will be as good as we want it to be regarding that our data as a company will be anonymous, will be protected, uh, will be only reachable by, by the owner, but it will be a contributor to the quality and the quantity of the data to be compared with. And that's, uh, and that's uh, a key issue. I think uh, Enrique also make a point on that. Uh, there is a lot of um, perhaps um, awareness or perhaps a little bit of um, shyness in, in the industry in, still in aquaculture to share information. And in this case, it's not sharing information, but to provide information in order to be able to, to get good analysis from it. I think Medate is providing, the, and this, 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 this dashboard is providing a very good opportunity to protect your data at the same time to, to increase the quality of the overall data and the overall information to be compared with. So this is now um, a decision which I think is easy to make, which is go in and uh, uh, check yourself uh, against the background against the others, but this background is going to be as good as you make it. And um, I think this is an important point to stress because otherwise uh, is, um, uh, the, the value is going to be relative if, if there is no uh, an improve, you know, and, and a constant feeding of information. And this is not just this, this, this dashboard, anything we want to, to be being fed from information needs to to have quality and quantity of data. So uh, it's, um, I, I, I would like to, to add something is that uh, for those of you that are following, um, it, it is not only to compare a production facility with other, with the performance of the sector. Eh? I think that this is like in sports. Eh? Uh, the, you are first competing with yourself. Eh? Your performance is your performance eh? and in order to evaluate your performance uh, you need to monitor yourself uh, you need to learn how to monitor yourself how to get data uh, and, and that will give you information about how you are the, uh, performing eh? uh, one of the things that uh, we saw at the beginning of the project in the work package when one when we were making the global assessment of the sector and then we were conducting uh, surveys eh, through many Mediterranean countries, is that uh, we saw or we identified uh, some lack uh, of uh, standardization in the collection of, of data. Eh? Uh, we also saw that there are some companies for certain information, certain data, they were not uh, well, they, they have some necessity, some necessity of improving it. Yeah? So these tools may help you to improve your data collection and your monitoring. Yeah? And, and for that, uh, this is a, a free tool that uh, the project is offering to all, all stakeholders that would like to, to progress on, on this, yeah? on the evaluation of the performance and on the learning about how to, to use and manage uh, data. Yeah. I would say that the, this is the, the first, just to give you an, an example, uh, one key performance indicators for all aquaculture companies is the mortality. Yeah. So we have seen that uh, there is still like a necessity of improving in the collection of, uh, of data regarding mortality. Yeah. So some companies uh, do not differentiate on the causes of mortalities. Eh? Some companies uh, have difficulties to, eh, to take that, uh, that in the indicators. Eh? So these tools may help you to advance 
on, on, on these issues. And, and the other thing just to, to insist is that uh, classically uh, this, uh, this tool has focus on uh, short technical performance. Eh? We have considered that, uh, well, this has been the, the way to work. Eh? And in Medet, we, we have tried to go one step forward by incorporating new, new tools that uh, don't maybe affect directly the performance of a far, but they will indirectly affect the performance. Eh? So that's why we have tried to integrate new tools or advance in the development of this new tool that has been, uh, as it is the uh, assess evaluation of the biosecurity or assess evaluation of uh, social issues. Eh? Those issues uh, are difficult to, to see how they can affect the, the performance, eh? but they do, eh? they, they do. And we have done it in a way like uh, you test yourself eh, uh, against uh, those aspects. Eh? So there, there are always ways to to advance, eh? either comparing with others, but the, the first one is to compare yourself with yourself or uh, to see how you can improve. Eh? Um, and, and we hope that uh, these new concepts and these new tools integrated in the Medate uh, eh, a cloud platform uh, can give you clues uh, about uh, where to go uh, and how to improve your work. Yeah? Exactly, exactly. This uh, nice corollario. I think it's uh, necessary to to lose the fear, no? lose the fear for sharing data because in, in, in most of the cases, the data that we are demanding is there is not amazing secret of the company. It's quite useful data that normally you use. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's a good opportunity, as Bernard to say, to understand what is the real situation in the sector and to do auto-evaluation. It's necessary to, to know if you are doing the things more or less as you consider. Uh, okay, you have some indication of improving, you have data of you have the possibility to compare your data with the other to know if they are doing something different like you and also sharing, maintain uh, some kind of uh, good practices, etc. No, it's not so. I think it's, uh, it's the standardization of the, of the manner to recollect the information and also to be useful and do not forget that in some cases we have more information that we can imagine. <laughs> so, um, well, we are totally open to, to receiving uh, recommendations, to receiving uh, if some have, have uh, some doubts about the use of these tools. Uh, please send us an email if you are uh, you try to introduce your data and to do some analysis as you say that probably you don't found exactly what you are looking for so be free to use and enjoy enjoy so much and help us help, and help us to uh, be more strong the sector the Mediterranean sector sharing this kind of information because this is this could be an interesting tool but Without data, um, they don't have value. That's a, that's a reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. uh, yeah, just to remind the our attendees. Eh? Oof, I, don't, I don't know what do you see. Uh, Cristobal, can, can you tell me what you see? Well, we see the uh, like a half screen with uh, save the date, but uh, not the full date. It's, ah, okay. the med it's a med uh, we are looking in the med uh, way. Okay, so what I wanted to, to show you to the attendees is that the, in med in the in the menu, if you go to dissemination, you come to the webinars and it is here where you come. Yeah? Uh -huh. And here is just to show that you have access to, to all the webinars that have been already okay. organized. 
if you go eh, to the different webinars, you you are able to, eh, to sorry to 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 watch a presentation that maybe you have missed. And as regards uh, today's uh, webinar, eh, which is the the last one of the series, here is the the program. But in the coming days, we are going to. Eh, to put the recordings of the presentations, and here you can uh, directly access to the to the platform. Yeah? So you are invited to to register and start start playing with yeah, with this uh, with this tool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I I think also that uh, we will make available yeah, the the contacts of. Uh, there's more water and Cristobal, Cristobal there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you just a comment, Bernardo. Is there is one webinar to be to, to be held in September on governance? So that will be that was to, supposed to be the last one today, but in fact we have one one more scheduled for September. Yeah. This is for the 10th of September, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yes, uh, something which it's been said that perhaps is worth it to stress is the interest, and that's related with the first question in the in the in the questions and answers is the the fact what happens with other stakeholders apart from the producers and 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 this uh, dashboard. And I think we, in fact, I think uh, this this tool is extremely important for. Uh, for instance, producers' associations, government stakeholders, and obviously feed producers, um, suppliers, uh, but, um, uh, vaccines, biotech companies, and so forth, to know which is the what the sector looks like in the different strata of of um, uh, um, companies. So don't you? It's not just a tool for producers. It's, it's a tool for even researchers. It's a tool for interrogate how the the sector in the whole is, and um, I think this is a, a message to take home as well. Mm -hmm. as well. Okay. And uh, why not? In the future, will be uh, the <laughs> platform offering to the other stakeholders to prepare the different kind of supplies that they are demanding to the sector. It's uh, easy manually to collect data and analyze all together. Mm -hmm. Why not? <clears throat> yeah, may, may, maybe just for this discussion about uh, the, the users. Eh? I don't know if uh, Cristobal, you, you have explained that you can create your own company, no? Uh, if you wish, it's, for example, someone that is uh, from an aquafit company, uh, they can use, uh, I don't know, uh, estimations or they can uh, develop a fictitious uh, exactly. company and then play play with that. Eh? Exactly, exactly. It, it's, it's exactly the same um, I sh sharing with you. I am created my own company. Uh, to to test to use the tool and I are adding uh, info, uh, I am adding data coming from the different research that we have and you can create a fictitious company but of course uh, introducing real data not um, things uh, like quite illusory because if not you are affecting to the average sector and you are introducing so much noise in the future will be introduced an, uh, a sensor to help us to identify if the data that you are introducing are more or less insane the, at the average and or is absolutely a nonsense. Okay, but not actually. Mm -hmm. So don't introduce fake data, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Basically, basically. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Well, mm -hmm. okay. No more uh, questions. So, 
No, I, I don't. I don't know. If maybe Cristobal, you would like. No, but here you, you can also ask the <coughs> the new tool developed for for the social aspects. No. The governance and social aspect. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, we are uh, working with our colleagues in governance and social aspect. Uh, uh, social aspect, and the idea is to uh, introduce auto evaluation tests to know which is the actual situation of your company and which are the sector doing on, which is the most constriction, which is necessary to do, uh, with the uh, with if the relation between sector and administration, sector and society, sector and other stakeholder. I'm helping you to understand if, for example, you are uh, uh, well positioned using your, I don't know, the strategy of your company in front of the, the, the society are demanding, of the different administration are demanding, etc. And also why not help the administration to develop new uh, elements, tools, or, um, or constriction to implementing activities, I don't know. We need to uh, um, uh, evolution uh, in, uh, in base of the data that we, we are obtaining and also uh, the how process this data in, in, ba in base are to the, to the main answer that we are obtaining. Okay. Uh, similar things will be introduced in the <laughs> welfare. Is the auto test to be sure that you are or not following the principal recommendation coming from the uh, World Package uh, 5, for I don't remember exactly, which is the principal recommendations in welfare, actually, if you are or not uh, in line of the coming uh, needs uh, of introducing of the principal um, OBS, uh, operational welfare indicator in your company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know if. Uh, <clears throat> so, if there are not uh, questions, eh, maybe. We need to finish. Yeah, well, I think yes. that uh, we can finish. Yes, there's uh, no more questions. Yeah, for all of you, all of you that you are attending us. Uh, I think that the base is that uh, you enter in the platform, register, and start to play with the with the platform, and mm -hmm. then uh, you can contact uh, our colleagues eh, from Smart Water uh, or Cristobal. Eh? So we will put the their contacts there available in the page of the webinar, and I think is the the best. Eh? Here the, the the only way to advance is to play and work with with this with this management tools and to see what are the <clears throat> difficulties you may have to collect some some data and and, mm -hmm. and that's all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very much. So for we well we thank you all for eh, for the, the attendance for your participation and uh, yeah, and that's all. I don't know, Dolores, you would like to say something? Or? No, yeah, we'll just to, just to close uh, saying that um, this has been a, a real challenge. I think it's been a bigger challenge that we all anticipated at the beginning of May 8. And um, uh, it, we have increased the scope of this dashboard with time. I think uh, we, we've been working as, as a real team with uh, our colleagues from Smart Waters um, Planet. And um, just in line with what Cristobal was saying, one of our main worries was that if this dies with the project, it's just an academic exercise. So we don't really want that. And that's what we have chosen this formula. Uh, the formula means that uh, um, maybe it will finish, but the, this dashboard will continue. And will continue and will be open up the scope. I think it's very important to keep that in mind and also to 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 take home also the message that, uh, as Bernardo was saying, we are covering 
a whole value change from the social and economic environment, even welfare issues, which are becoming extremely important, and all the so technical aspects. And uh, they, therefore, they are there for you to, to, to use, and you can use it under any uh, status of a stakeholder that you are. Uh, a scientist, you, as a scientist, you can use it. You can use it as a, as a producer or uh, as a um, governance, uh, as an administrator and so forth. So um, there's a lot of uh, creative effort put into this dashboard. And we really, really hope that uh, it's be, it gets um, used and uh, improved by, just by, by you, by using it and um, by making it, um, you becoming part of it. That's my last mm -hmm. message. And then uh, it's going to be all available in Medate uh, in the toolbox. You will be able to access all our outputs, uh, as mm -hmm. Bernardo say, through the specific um, um, let's say menus. But then you go, even mm -hmm. the toolbox is under construction, then there you'll be able to access uh, this dashboard as well as the recommendations and other, or other mm -hmm. parts. And that will be all for me. Just thank you. And thank you our colleagues from Smart Water Planet to be patient with us because I know we've been demanding, but we knew we, we, we needed uh, something different. I think we have something different, really. We have something new and something good. So, uh, and it's there for all of us to, to explode at, 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 its, at, at its best. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the attendance. Okay, thank you. So we are going to finish, and that's all for today. Eh? Remember okay. to visit my day way page. Okay, so cheers. Okay, bye, -bye. and thank you very much. Bye bye, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.